Welcome to Woodlands Garden 2017. Today is May, it's the best month of the year for me. First, because there is no midges, so you can really work in the garden, um, start seeding, start planting, so you can get all your vegetables for um, over the summer and, and the winter. And this year we're going to focus on rhubarb, this beautiful, amazing vegetable that we're going to celebrate by having a rhubarb fest at the CCA on the 25th of uh, June. So you're very welcome to come and find out more about rhubarb. But uh, it's not me who's going to tell you the stories about rhubarb, the recipes about rhubarb and the versatile of this wonderful vegetable. But it's going to be testimonials from the community, from people that grow their rhubarb, people that have had rhubarb from their grandparents. There's going to be lots of stories about rhubarb. So yes, we are going to celebrate this great vegetable. Um, today I'm going to just do a very quick um, recipe, which is just perfect for breakfast. Uh, I'm going to leave the best recipes for um, for our workshop at the CCA in June and I'm going to wait for all these amazing stories that are not going to be told by me but by the community. So I'm very excited this year and we're going to now go and have a little hunt and show you this wonderful plant. Great! So I found our rhubarb palm. It seems as if the rhubarb is kind of like hiding in our garden. It is really, really beautiful. Look at the leaves. They are massive, huge, huge leaves. And you got the stuck right there. We will have another video showing you how to plant the rhubarb and how to harvest the rhubarb. But so far, I just love to look at it and I'm really excited. We're going to make just basically stew rhubarb. Uh, this rhubarb um, was given to me by uh, my relative in Gurok and every year I hustle her to give me more rhubarb. Um, it's, it's organic and it was just taken on a day uh, just yesterday so it's really really fresh. It doesn't even need to be washed. Um, so stew rhubarb is just basically I'm going to chop the rhubarb. Rhubarb goes really well with ginger so I'm going to put a little bit of ginger and instead of using sugar I had a friend from um, Chile that lives in Inverness actually said if you put a couple of apples the natural sugar of the apple would, will, will cook nicely with the, with the rhubarb and you won't need any um, um, uh, other sugar and some orange and orange zest just to give it a, a bit of flavor so it's really really simple so let's just get started That will be enough of rhubarb for a couple of apples and a couple of oranges. So here is the orange. Mm. I love the smell of orange. So we got enough of zest. And we're just now going to squish the, the juice of the orange. So I'm not using water, it's just the juice of the orange is enough. And then I'm going to cut a bit of um, ginger. I love ginger. Ginger is just full of goodness. So there's a bit of ginger. As I said before, instead of using sugar, I'm just going to use the natural sugar of the apple. Rhubarb is quite acidic, so it does need some sugar. We have a special recipe that we will show you at the CCA, which is rhubarb and spinach curry. You wouldn't believe it, but it's one of the nicest curries I ever had. It's a vegetable that gives you lots of surprises. You wouldn't expect. Rhubarb, zest of orange, the juice of two oranges, two apples to get the sweetness that rhubarb needs, a bit of ginger, and I think that's us. So look at that. This has been simmering away for just basically maybe 15 minutes. But this is just not water, you know, this is the natural juice of the fruit. So we let some of our rhubarb uh, cool a bit and I oh, cannot wait for this. I have some nice homemade granola. 
with loads of seeds and almonds and oats very simple toasted with um, with a bit of honey and we're going to have a bit of yogurt mm. and the masterpiece look at that color it's just so pretty it looks really really pretty our rhubarb breakfast we are ready to have some breakfast Marco thank you um, there you are thank you. thank you no problem there are some berries 